In 2012 and 2013, Greg Hardy was a sack machine for the Carolina Panthers. He was one of the most explosive pass rushers in the game. Then, in the spring of 2014... Okay, what's going on? Domestic violence. Some girl's gonna have to be upstairs. And I heard it. And I seen it. Hardy was charged with assaulting Nicole Holder, who told the authorities he'd strangled and threatened her. Did you assault her, Mr. Hardy? That summer, a judge in Charlotte found Hardy guilty and sentenced him to a 60-day suspended sentence and 18 months probation. But after Hardy appealed and requested a trial by jury, Holder declined to testify. Prosecutors said that Hardy and Holder had reached an out-of-court settlement. The charges were dropped. And Hardy's conviction ultimately expunged. As the legal process played out, Hardy played only one game in 2014, and after the season, the Panthers let him go. He was soon signed by the Dallas Cowboys, a one-year deal for 2015 worth more than $11 million. At the end of the day, what counts, and when you know someone has uh, really accepted any accountability, is when they don't do it again. In April 2015, the NFL announced it was suspending Hardy. The league announced the talented but troubled defensive end has been suspended for the first 10 games without pay, conduct detrimental to the NFL. The league said it had concluded that Hardy used physical force against Holder on at least four occasions and that she was severely traumatized and sustained a range of injuries. An arbitrator would then reduce the NFL's suspension to four games. Hardy would start all 12 games that he was allowed to play in in 2015, but he wasn't nearly as productive as he'd been in Charlotte. When the season ended, the Cowboys decided not to re-sign Hardy, whose pro football career thus came to an end, though Hardy didn't know it at the time. Meanwhile, despite the outcome of the bench trial, he continued to deny that he had attacked Holder. You say you did nothing wrong, you're innocent, and yet the pictures of her that surfaced would seem to suggest a woman who had had some type of physical contact. How do you explain that? Like I said, you know, it's, it's conversation for lawyers and, and whatnot, pictures are pictures, and they can be made to look like whatever they want to. But I will stop you there and say that I didn't say I didn't do anything wrong, you know? That situation occurred, and that situation was handled, but as a man, you can't avoid situations that are not your fault or are, that are your fault. And I feel like saying that I did nothing wrong is, is a stretch, but Saying that I am innocent is correct, yes, sir. Did you ever put your hands on her? No, sir. Never? No, sir. A year later, in 2016, Hardy was in trouble with the law again. New on Sports Center, some more NFL news to pass on. Former Dallas Cowboys defenseman Greg Hardy has been arrested on a drug charge. He was arrested Sunday for possession of a controlled substance. Already, he was trying to break into a new game. A pariah in pro football, Hardy has been building his resume in MMA first as an amateur and now also in three fights as a pro. In six total fights, he's registered six first round knockouts. Now, at the age of 30, Hardy is making the leap to the MMA big leagues, the UFC. He's done all the things right so far. You know, the guy paid his dues. He uh, hit rock bottom. He built himself back up and, and uh, you know, the guy's out there trying to make a life and a living. Five years after he was arrested for assault, and more than three years since he last played in the NFL, Greg Hardy is back in the spotlight. And while he's switched sports, the questions that persist are whether he is a changed man. And, even if he is, whether he deserves this opportunity.